Hey everybody, how you doing? Last Outrider here, and here's a special video on how to play an original Jokero army. Because they're actually quite fun. Here we go. The Jokero have the ability to build complex devices as represented by allowing them to rebuild weapons and equipment during the game. To do this, there must be a personality model present to act as a coordinator and designer, whilst the other Jokero concentrate on the work itself. The Jokero may attempt to build any weapon, any vehicle, any item of equipment, etc. They can try to build a spacecraft if they wish, they are limited only by the resources at hand and the time available. On a game table, both are likely to be in short supply. Weapons may be rebuilt as follows. Any basic weapon can be rebuilt into any other basic weapon. Pistol type combat weapons can be rebuilt into other pistol weapons. Heavy weapons can be rebuilt into any other heavy weapons and very heavy weapons can be rebuilt into other very heavy weapons. It is possible to break weapons down into smaller weapons. It is also possible to combine some weapons to make larger, more powerful versions. The chart below shows the ratios of the various categories. When building heavier weaponry, component weapons cannot be more than one level lighter. So, for example, combat pistols can only be used to build basic weapons, not heavy or very heavy weapons. The chart is actually simple. It says a combat weapon is apparently worth half a point, a basic weapon is one point, Heavy weapons are two points, very heavy weapons are six points, and a defense laser is ten points. So the way it would work is you can only use weapons or equipment from the category one step below, which meaning very heavy weapons can be combined to build a defense laser. Heavy weapons can be combined to build a heavy a very heavy weapon. So Two pistols would be necessary to make a basic weapon. Two basic weapons would be necessary to make a heavy weapon. Uh, three heavy weapons would be necessary to make a very heavy weapon. And two very heavy weapons can make a defense laser. The interesting thing is, is they don't talk about it in reverse. They only talk about building up. So you, you can use a pistol to make a... A basic but it doesn't say that you can't turn a defense laser into 20 pistol combat weapons note that the defense laser is especially large it requires more than the ordinary amount of components defense lasers can only be built from other very heavy weapons and or las cannon Vehicles can be rebuilt in a similar way to weapons. One heavy vehicle equals two medium vehicles equals four light vehicles equals 16 bike vehicles. Of a given size category can be rebuilt into other vehicles of the same size. This may involve a change in traction, weaponry, equipment, etc. This can be represented by allowing the Jokero player to either leave a vehicle characteristic unchanged or generate it anew using the vehicle profiles. So for example, a player might elect to leave a vehicle equipment and weapons unchanged, but to randomly determine its new toughness, speed, etc. 
Large vehicles can be built into smaller vehicles, so long as the component vehicles are not more than one level smaller. There you go. So they put that equipment, that, that, that restriction on vehicles. But they don't have the restriction on going bigger. So 16 jet bikes can still make a heavy tank, a land raider. Equipment can be rebuilt into any other equipment, but always requires at least two items to make one new item. If the new item is especially large, the GM may rule that more components are necessary. The GM may also rule that specific components are needed, which may or may not be available. Rebuilding is worked out as follows. In addition to the personality, at least two other Jacaro are needed. At the end of each turn, spent, stationary, and working, roll a d6. For each additional Jokero working on the project, add one to the die, up to a minimum requirement of a two on the dice. Rebuilding items larger or more complex than a heavy vehicle is possible, but should take longer than the average game. GMs are at liberty to improvise additional rules for exotic or especially large rebuilds. You hear that? Improvise your own freaking rules. Organization. Joe Caro live in family groups averaging of about a dozen individuals. Related families often travel and work together and band together where there is fighting to be done. Each family is headed by a patriarch or a matriarch. In combat, families form the basic units. It is usual for each family to have its own vehicle as well as a stock of equipment. So basically, you could have a, a dump truck with scrap everything in back. And then that would be enough components to basically build whatever you need. Equipment is, of course, no real problem to the Jacaro. If they need it, they build it. If specific parts are required, they search them out, scavenge or steal them. Equipment, therefore, is completely random. Jokero are not known to favor any one type of weapon or vehicle. Uniforms. Jokero are capable of manufacturing sealed suits and other essential items of equipment, but normally they go around naked. Their thick fur protecting them from the cold and wet. Jokero spacecraft, although open to space, retain a breathable atmosphere by virtue of a surrounding power field and also protective clothing and so sorry protective clothing is unnecessary now here are the actual charts okay generation a jokero family group can be generated as follows a group comprises of a d4 minus one personalities minimum one and 3d6 other jokero Personalities, personalities, by the way, if you don't know, is the original name for independent characters or just characters. It, came, it went to champion, uh, minor hero, and major hero. And if you want the stats for the Jokero, I'm going to jump to that actually right now. Uh, the average Jokero has a movement 4, weapon skill 1, ballistic skill 3, strength 2, toughness 3, Wounds 1, Initiative 3, Attack 1, Leadership 9. Then you had the Champions, Minor and Major Hero. A Champion, they all have movement. Basically, you plus 1. So a Champion would have a Weapon Skill 2, a Minor Hero, Weapon Skill 3, a Major Hero, Weapon Skill 4. The same thing would go with Ballistic Skill, which would go 4, 5, 6. Strength is still 3. At all, um, at all, at all, not still, but because the original ones are two. Toughness is three for a champion and four for a major and minor hero. Wounds add one, so it's one, two, three. Initiatives are also 
four, five, six. And attacks are one, two, three. Leadership is nine, ten, ten. Jukero have no intelligence rating because they're beyond that. So, in the generation, that's what they mean when they say roll a d4 minus 1 for personalities. 1 to 3 is a champion, 4 to 5 is a minor hero, 6 is a major hero. Weapons carried tend to be random. Generate weapons for each individual in turn. It is possible for a Jokero to be unarmed. Weapons for personalities are generated in the same way as for other Jokero. Each is presumed to have sufficient grenades of the type generated to last the entire battle, as these are very small and easily carried. Where vortex or psych out grenades are generated, only a D3 are carried. So, in, uh, let's see, the weapons and armor. They have a 75% chance of a random pistol weapon, 75% chance of a basic weapon, 25% chance of a grenade type, and 25% chance of a random armor type. Jokero without basic weapons have a 75% chance of one random heavy weapon. Okay. Uh, personal equipment. Equipment carried is generated for each individual as follows. 25% chance of a bioscanner. 25% chance of a breathing apparatus. With, uh, then, on, then there's a sub chart of 1 to 50 are filters. Uh, 51 to 75 are gills. 76 to 80 would be a mask. And 81 to 100 would be an implanted respirator. Uh, there's a 10% chance of having a Cameline cloak. Holy shit! 5% chance of them being encased in Dreadnought armor. Yes, it is possible for Edgecaro to be a Dreadnought. 25% uh, chance of having an eye scanner. 25% uh, chance of having eye protection. It keeps going. They don't stop. If you have that eye protection, there is a subchart of 1 to 50, it's a visor, 51 to 75, contacts, 76 to 90, eye drops, and 91 to 100, an injection. 25% chance of having a flight pack. 5% chance of having a power board. That would be like a Silver Surfer type of thing, or Hellions if you play Dark Elar. 25% uh, chance of a rad counter, 5% chance of a rad suit, 75% chance of a suspenser, and 75% chance of a targeter. A targeter chance of a plus one, Chance of one if heavy weapon is carried. So, okay, if you have, if it is carrying a heavy weapon, there's a 75% chance that heavy weapon will have a targeter. Oh, and here you go. Web solvent. Always if a Weber is carried. Otherwise, 90% chance of having D6 uses of web solvent. Ah, wow. I guess Jokero really worry about Webers since each one has a 90% chance of carrying uh, D6 web solvents. In addition, the family has D6 random items of equipment, which may be distributed as the player sees fit. Transport. Vehicles can be generated randomly for their type. Roll a D10. 1. No vehicles. 2. D6 bikes. 3, 1 small vehicle, 4, 2 small vehicles, 5 to 6, 1 medium vehicle, 9, 1 medium and 1 small vehicle, 10, 1 large vehicle. The type of vehicle can be randomly determined as follows. Roll a d10. 1 to 2, a crawler. 3 to 4, a hoverer. 5 to 6, a road wheeler. 7 to 8, a track or wide wheeler and 9 to 10 a walker tactics Jokero have a natural aversion to close combat preferring to fight from a safe distance 
They dislike to endanger members of their family group and will rarely fight unless they desperately need something or are acting in self-defense. This leads to an interesting question. Was the idea for the Tau originally a Jokero army? Because if you remember what I said, they started with a weapon skill of one and a champion has a weapon skill of two. And they hate uh, close combat, preferring, obviously, massive ranged combat. I think the Jokero are the original Tau. Or at least based the Tau are based on them. There you go. That's how to build a Jokero army. Enjoy. Mm-hmm. <laughs>